In this tutorial we're going to save this photograph using Adobe Photoshop CS5 in three different ways for three different purposes and we're also going to save it in different file formats also so we'll be able to learn a few different things. Now first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this into a folder so I'm going to say file save as and instead of the desktop I've got this folder week 2 here that I'm going to save it in so I'm going to double click in there and save it in this folder and I'm also going to save first thing I'm going to say is save it as a PSD file or Photoshop document in this folder okay and I'll hit save alright and then what I could also do is just as in case as a backup I could do a file save as and I could save it a second way so I'm going to title it this time so I did a file save as so that I can save it a second time and I'll call it cows photoshop.psd and I'm going to choose photoshop.psd because this is the Photoshop authoring environment. Save. So now if I open up this file I've got two PSD files. I've got the original way I had it and the second way. So I'm backing up my work by saving it multiple times. Also I want to see my file extensions. So I'm going to go to organize. I'm going to go to folder and search options. I'm going to go to view and I'm going to uncheck hide extensions for known file types. It's down here towards the bottom. I'm going to uncheck this one right here and click OK. And now I can see my my file extensions. I can see that both of these files are .psd files or Photoshop documents. All right. Now the first way we're going to save this um, image is as a printable image. I, let's say I wanted to print this image out and I wanted to put it in a frame and hang it on the wall. I want to print this image and I want to save it in let's say a 4x5, a 5x7, or an 8x10 format. Okay. Now to do this I'm going to need to adjust my settings on the image size and control the image size. And to do that we go to image, image size. And it brings up this dialog box. And this is an important dialog box because it tells you a lot and helps you to adjust your image and and be able to output it in whatever dimensions you need it to be in and whatever resolution you need it to be in and right now it's set at screen resolution which is resolution 72 uh, pixels per inch and if I was to print this right now my printer would get this document and it would say okay we want to print a document that's 60 inches wide by 40 inches tall at resolution 72 and I'd get 60 pieces of paper out of my printer all with a poor print. So I don't want that. What I want is I want this to be a 4x5, a 5x7, or an 8x10. So to do this what I want to do is I want to check off resample image. I don't want to resample my image. Notice when you check this off the pixel dimensions, the total amount of pixels by width and height um, will get grayed out because you're not going to be able to lose pixels. So I'm going to uncheck resample image and then this gets grayed out. So I'm not going to lose any pixels. I'm just going to adjust the size of the document. I'm just going to change the proportions. And what I want is I want more resolution. So I'm going to change the resolution to 360. Okay, and now it changes the height to 7.9 inches and the width to almost 12 inches. So this is roughly an 8 by 10 image. Okay, and if I was truly going to be printing this as an 8 by 10, then I could change this and I could just put 8 right there for inches. Also, there's some you could put uh, centimeters, points, uh, picas, whatever you want, but I usually keep it on inches. That's what I'm used to using. So this would be an 8 by 12, and the resolution would be 356, and this would be a nice printed 8 by 12 image. Okay, notice my pixel dimensions have not changed. I still have a total amount of pixels, 4,272 wide and 2,848 tall, right? Those have not changed. It's how I'm distributing them. I'm going to say I'm going to stuff these pixels or points of color, 356 of them, into each inch. And that is going to uh, create more detail for my print and it'll give me a really nice 8x12. If you want to print photographic quality, you want your print to be resolution 300 pixels per inch or higher. So this is going to work perfectly.
So once again, I can change this. You know, I could say 700 pixels per inch would give me a 4 by 6. I could say if I wanted a 5 by 7, I could make this 7. This would be 4.6 by 7, uh, 5 by 7. The other thing I want you to do is notice, too, that um, uh, const constrain proportions is on. So if I change the height and change that to 6, it also changes the width and it changes the resolution. Okay, so I'm going to change that once again to an 8 here and resolution 356 and click OK. Now I will say File, Save As, and I'm going to save this file as, in a TIFF format, which is down here at the bottom. So here's the formats. So now I'll be saving in a TIFF format and I'll call it Cows and I'll say maybe whoops 8 x 10 for 8 by 10 as a TIFF and I'll hit save so now I've saved it in the first way oops I have to pick some um, TIFF options do I want to compress the TIFF I'll say no I want this to be uh, lossless compression I don't want to lose any data from the image I want to keep this as a lossless compression so I'll say no and I'll just click OK and I just saved it as an 8x10 TIFF image. 